We love telling beautiful stories on G Sport, and even more importantly, we love introducing you to rising stars. I'm sitting alongside Lara Goodall. She's the Proteus Women batter, and it's been an interesting journey for her, having debuted in both ODI and T20 cricket in 2016. Here we are in 2019, and a brand new opportunity for her to show what she's made of. Good to chat to you on G Sport. Thank you very much for having me. Cricket's been part of your life forever, right? Definitely. When did you start? <laughs> Obviously, um, I'm 23 years old now, so I was uh, I, grew, I grew up in a, a town in Cape Town and um, in my road actually. I was all the girls were much older than me, so um, the boys were all my age, and then it was either play with the boys or sit out. So since I was about four or five years old, I played played with my older brother, and then obviously with our friends. And it started in the streets. I'm not gonna lie, it started in the streets, and it kind of just progressed from there. Listen, I've known a number of street cricketers who become <laughs> superstars, so that's where it all starts. But you've also had a great opportunity to be part of the Western Province Cricket Setup. At which stage did you join that setup and know that this was a career path you were going to take? I started when I was 12 years old. Um, I travelled for the under 19 side and I made it for the first time in, when I was 13. And then um, when I was 15, I was called up to the senior provincial side, and that's where I kind of learned my trade and I realised that this is actually what I want to do for a living and it's something that I love and that I enjoy um, and that's when I started to take, it to take it seriously and then obviously I had a very good coach with Professor Ruth, I'm sure you've heard of him. Yes, oh what a um, pity that we lost him because yeah. he was doing such good work with you. Yeah, he was, he was very good and he just kind of believed in me and then I started believing in myself and that's why I'm here today. And getting into the protest setup, obviously with all the, the work that Kobus did with you, what do you think caught the selector's eye nationally? I think it's just the fact that I'm something different. I mean, I'm a left-handed top order batter, which is something we're not fortunate enough to have in South Africa or have a lot of. Um, so I feel like that um, definitely works in my favour because it's a different dimension. It can because um, I have different strengths to right-handed batters and I hit the ball in different angles to right-handed batters. And I feel like being the only top order left-hander brings a, a, a different dimension to our squad as well. So um, I'm pretty happy with that. And then obviously just. Um, yeah. I think a, a question came up in one of the press conferences here in India about the lack of left-handed batters in South Africa. So you do have that unique position. But it's interesting that you open for your provincial side, but here you have probably a bit of a floater in the South African team. How do you manage to understand your roles differently provincially and nationally? I think what benefited me when I was growing up was the fact that when I started playing for the province in the senior, in the senior team, I actually batted 11. <laughs> um, and then I kind of, uh, but Purvis told me, he was like, Laura, I have a plan for you, we're going to we're gonna uh, groom into all-round cricketer and, and I started at 11 and then I jumped to 6 and then I had a su success at 6 and then um, he just came to me one day, he said, Laura, I have a cut I want to go open to it and ever since then it's been something that I've done at back home and I've done well at. So um, I'm all for playing and batting in the middle order for South Africa because I understand that we have powerful batters in the Zali and we would have all fought at, uh, at the top of the inning. So, for me, if I can contribute to my country, I'm, I'm very happy. What's it like being here in India and obviously getting an opportunity to play in front of these insanely mad crowds, 20,000 strong? It's the first time I've actually been in India and um, people would always say what an experience it is, but you can't really put it into words. Um, the, the crowds and the noise on, at the fields is, is really intense and it's something that I've I've never actually experienced before, so getting used to it is a process, but as soon as you are comfortable with that, then it, it, you kind of just embrace it and enjoy it a lot more. So I feel like last that, uh, last night I enjoyed it a lot more than I did in the, in the first game. So um, just to see myself growing in that way is, is really good. Pressure is important to be able to absorb it, deal with it. How do you handle pressure at this level? I think you kind of just have to, to trust your preparation and trust your skills and, and get in that bubble. You know, a lot of kids are talking about getting that bubble. You kind of just have to get into that bubble and, and not let any other distractions um, burst it. Because, I mean, uh, crowd, these, what's nice about the Indian crowds is that they uh, appreciate good cricket. So even us as South Africans, if we eat boundaries or take good catches, they cheer for us just as much as they cheer for the Indian side. So I feel like we thrive with that as well, which is a good thing. What's the long-term plan for Laura Goodall? Because it's been a long career. I mean, you started at, at four or five years old. You're now 23. How do you chart your way forward? Obviously, I would like to uh, become a mainstay in the side. Um, be one of the first names on the team sheet, uh, get that national contract, which is something that I'm working very, very hard for. So um, we'll see. 
how it goes, but I mean, I'm just happy to, to be here and to be contributing to the team at this stage. I love the fact that women's cricket is a viable career option. Previously, you'd be wondering, should I go back to my job? Do I play cricket? But now you can play cricket full time. Getting that national contract is one thing, but are you eyeing the leagues as well? Uh, definitely. Um, I mean, I've uh, spoken to some of the girls on our side that have played in the leagues and they say that uh, the big back in Australia is amazing and, and so is the Kia Super League. So to get your foot in the door there, but that's not really my main focus. I actually just want to do well for South Africa and those things will come and then um, take it from me. Who are your cricketing heroes? Cricketing heroes? Um, I'm a very big JP Dumini fan. I've always, I always, I always have been. Um, being a Cape Town girl growing up, uh, going to Newlands since I was before I could walk even. Have you spent time um, with him? Yes, I have actually. I have interacted with him a few times and he's a very, very good guy. Um, and, and something that always stuck with me is that uh, good people make good cricketers and he's one of the best people that I've ever met. So um, I think his success on the field says it all. It does. He is a, a wonderful human being and I just love the fact that he can lead from wherever he is. What is your advice to young girls? Because everyone is saying, go into cricket, it's a great career option, but there, there's a lot that you have to do, the processes that you've got to take care of. What is the one thing you'd say to a young girl she would have to do to get her foot in the door? I think she just has to be able to take it. criticism. Um, I think that <laughs> as, as girls we, we tend to act on our emotions a lot and try and we let our emotions get the best of us. So I feel like take criticism on the chin, um, go back, work harder and come back and come back. Because in cricket um, there, there are going to be times that you fail but the times that you succeed makes it even sweeter. What is the one thing you know now that you wish you knew when you first started playing cricket about yourself? Well, what do you know the strongest quality that you have? I think back then I always used to rely on my talent kind mm. of thing because everyone used to tell me, oh Lord, you're so talented, you're so talented and I used to think that's what was going to always just get me into the team and save me and make me like, play well but then I actually realized that you have to work flipping hard to, to get that. Um, so like I just maybe just improve that work ethic back then is something that I would change now but obviously I do have it now so um, and I'm still only 23 so I can kick on from here. You've got a long career ahead of you and I know with the attitude you have, you probably are going to become a full-time fixture in this team. Thank you for your time and uh, keep supporting the young girls that are coming through because I have a feeling that uh, role model status belongs to you. Thank you very much. Laura Goodall chatting to us on G-Sport or Star for the Future for sure.